Okay, everyone. Before this video starts, I just want to say that I'm really sorry for these issues I've been having in my videos. So in this not a good video, it pretty much cuts off. The video cuts off for some reason. It's be I'm pretty sure it's because my storage, one of my storage spaces was full, so it started my video recording program. My audio program kept on recording. So. Yeah, it's pretty much, if you want to listen to the audio, you can. There's going to be 19 minutes of video, I'm pretty sure, and then, like, like, 15 more minutes of just audio then, unfortunately. Which, at the end, I'll show you what happened in the clip. I mean, what happened, what, what we what we did, pretty much. But actually, in the video, I guess you could say. But yeah, sorry for the inconvenience, and yeah. Okay then, hello everyone, Toy Bridge Gaming here, and guys, so welcome back to Subnautica. This is gonna be part two, and um, yeah, I'm not sure if I showed this, but there's a, a castles and coffee update, which you can see right here. There's a force field, and like on this little thing right here, on this um precursor base. Um, so yeah, so this is a new update. I'm not sure if this save file I made has it, but I'm pretty sure it does. But, yeah, so we're going to get into the world. Also, from last time, as you can probably see, I have this save right here. Which is not the same save as the last time. The last time, I did not like the spawn point I had in the world. So I created a new world, got a new spawn point. And it's a lot better spawn point, because I didn't like how it was just over nothing, really. Just because I went right into the, um, the, the, um... I forget what it's called. The, the grassy plateau, I think is what it's called. So, and I didn't really want that. So, I, I created a new save. I have all the same stuff and more. A lot more, actually. Well, not really a lot. But, I just got some more stuff and kind of grinded ahead so we would have more materials to actually do stuff in the game. So, yeah, let's get into the saved game. Also, the volume for the game is going to be at, like, 25%. Last time, I don't think I had it on at all. I think I had it on, like, 1% or something. I'm not sure, but, yeah, okay, here we are. So... Uh, excuse me. So uh, as you can see, I have the same tools except I have a flashlight now. Just for whenever it's dark, I can see and just dark because even though I don't really go out in dark. So I got some more materials. There's a lot more than this. So I just got some more materials so we would have more stuff to do. So there's some. I got some quartz, some copper, some lead. I even like had a whole sheet of, of stuff I did have. And that's save. I made sure I had all of it. I don't have that one silver I had, but that's not too much of a big problem. Even though it kind of is. No, it's not. That doesn't make sense. Whatever. I also have some lead, a creature egg, acid mushrooms, and just some basic basic stuff. So if I go down here, see this is a new this is the new spawn point. It's a lot better spawn point. I like this a lot better. So if we go down here, open storage. So these are like little storages you can make and just put under your base in the water. So you got some salt, some titanium, some some more stuff. Just got some food also. Also, I I don't think I told you this guy this guy. I don't think I told you this in the last episode. If you just put regular like, if you just keep regular food in your inventory that's not cooked, it will never rot. Cause if after a while, food will start to rot on your person. Really, if you just put it in a container, it, it will never rot, really, until you until you bake bake it or um, cook it. I mean, I think I already looked in this one. Yes, I did. Um, get some oxygen real quick. Also, I'll, look you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you where the aurora is now. The aurora is right there. It already blew up. If you guys remember from last time, is, is this on? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's on. Turn it off so I don't waste battery. Okay, then, then I have one more down here. This, this right here is just some um, creep vine seed clusters. Some, some extra ones. I think there's like none around here. So it's all the way over there. Yeah, and you'll see what that, um, that this stuff is for a second. In a second. It's pretty awesome. Well, don't you dare move away. Okay, open this. Oh, there's nothing there. Yeah, this is just an extra one for this stuff. I'm just keeping this here because, dang it. This right here, this... This keeps up a lot of space, so I just kept them outside. And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and show you 
what I have done. So I have pretty much just explored back here a lot. I don't like exploring close to the roar because just look how big that thing is. And the radiation also, so yeah. Okay, sorry about that. So right here is a cave that I found. Where I, this is where I got most of the resources. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, bud. Um, wish I had like a, like a stasis rifle or something. Okay. Please don't hurt me. Please. Ouch. Okay. And you do not have crash fish powder. Damn it. Well, that hurt. I pretty much just got hurt for nothing. Damn it. Got some quartz up here. I'm gonna grab this real quick. I'm not sure if this tunnel regenerates ores or not. I can't remember. It doesn't look like there's any. Yep. So there's some massive mushrooms that drop. So I'll show you. Now I'm gonna show you what these things are over here. So I had some I, I had some goals for this episode. I kind of forgot what they were. I remember one of them, which is what this is for. So look at this one first because it's closer. Okay. So I got this beacon right here. And right here we have a sea god fragment. Now this pretty much makes you swim a lot faster. You hold it. It's kind of like the scanner. It's in your inventory. And yeah, you hold it. And then you'll go super fast. So that's fragment one. You'll need to get different parts of a fragment, and then you can get the whole thing. So I'm gonna get this beacon right here for later use. So you can maybe use it for a different time in case you find something cool. I love these beacons. So right over here, yes, uh, yeah, you can see it says for episode two, and it's episode two. I mean, oh, I also made this. This right here is a grav sphere, and this thing is so overpowered in my opinion. What this thing does. I'm not sure if I got any food last episode. Actually, wait, no, you wouldn't have seen that because this is a new save. Well, I know, I think you probably would have saw me get food last episode, though. So last episode when I was probably getting food, you can see it was kind of, a, it would be kind of a hassle because I would have to chase after fish. What this does, any fish in the region, this thing will grab onto it and then the fish won't be able to get away. So I can just go near it and I can just grab all of that stuff. It's really good. Um, there's not really any more fish over here. I think after a while they kind of go away from that area then. Because they don't want to get captured, I'm guessing at least. Because I, I haven't got any just for a little bit. Fair, this is fairly easy to make. Oh, there's some kelp right here actually. I didn't know there was some like right here. Or maybe I did, I'm not sure. So I'm going to place this just right here, I think. Um, there we go. Okay. I'll place, I'll place this beacon here too, I guess. Okay, it's on five, and... Oh, uh, yeah, I'll place this beacon here for right now, because I don't need it. Um, let me get some oxygen. Beep! I was like, wait, where's my life pod? There it is. Okay. Oh, got some outcrops here, too. I guess it picked up. So, I'll, yeah, so there's some more fish right, right, just right here, so... Let me grab some of these guys real quick. Rabbit raised a can eat, because I... Actually, I scanned a lot of stuff. Let me go to my data bank. What's this? Oh, sea guard. Okay, so I, I scanned like lots of um, life forms, as you can see. And I, I scanned the rabbit right and said, because you can't eat those guys. And I was like, why can't you not eat these guys? And I was like, oh, maybe if I look in here, it will tell me. Because it says they actually have poisonous flesh. If they have poisonous flesh, wouldn't they just die? Yeah, there's no logic. Okay, there we go. Got some, got some food. You know, I had hot already. Okay. Now we go up here. Do, 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 okay. Okay, so now we're going over here for this other beacon. I should wait. Let me go ahead and edit this name's beacon. Just remembered. Okay. Because since it's, you can't really see it from here, really. So I'll just edit it to Grass Sphere. This will be the Grass Sphere beacon, I guess. Um, Grass Sphere. I think that's how you spell it. I'm not sure. There we go. You see? Grab sphere. Whoop, that scared me. Okay. Gotta grab some salt deposit. Also, I'm probably gonna do some Rocket League videos soon, too. Just got that game. It's so much fun. Okay, here's the other beacon. And here is the second Sea Glide fragment. So now, we guys, we have the Sea Glide. But now, but now we just have to make it, actually, though. Um, I did, I did, like, have another fragment over there somewhere. And, like... 
I put a metal salvage next to it, not that one, but over there. <laughs> I didn't know where it was, so I had to look for a different one. That only took like about two minutes, maybe, something like that. So I'm going to go pick up the beacon, because um, I don't need it anymore for here. And yeah, so I'll show you. This is that little, little underground cave right here. This goes all the way down here. Whoa. Just kind of catch. So I think right now I'm just I'm pretty much just catching you guys up on all that's happened, really. Um, get some oxygen. I think I'll head back to the life box. I think it's turning night. Not sure though. Look at the planet. It's so big. So was the aurora. Ha 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 ha. Nervous laughing. Okay. And yeah, actually, I need to get. I'm gonna need to get some. Um. Food and water real quick, just to, in my inventory. Well, so let's see. Oh yeah. So yeah. Okay. Here we go. Battery, lubricant, and copper wire. Okay. So I think I'll have to go get some. Actually, wait. No. I think. I think. I. I think actually these right here are good. That I had these. I didn't even know I needed them for anything. I didn't. I had a feeling there for something, but I wasn't sure what. Okay. Deployables? Okay. So, lubricant. Let's see here. Uh, basic materials. Wait, where's... Oh, there it is. Oh, really? I need one more. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, dang. <laughs> I really wish... I, I could really use the um, sea glide right now for this. And once you guys see this, you'll be amazed at what this thing could do. Okay. Yeah, I know indeed there's a kelp forest right here, actually. I couldn't see it in my, like, rest and render distance, I guess you could say, from my life pod. So I didn't know it was there. Oh, grab here. Oh, yeah, have to. So I just need one. Also, if I if I go down here sometime, um, oh my gosh, that scared me. Holy crap. Okay, then. Oh my. I did not know it could keep a stalker in there. Um. That's not a good thing, actually. Um, okay, whatever. Oh, no, is it going to kill my fish? Why did I put that there? Dang it, okay, well, I hope not. I know it kills peepers, I'm not sure if it kills other shit. Fish. Fish, I cannot talk. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it kills other fish. I'll worry about that later. Oh my gosh, I must have oxygen, I didn't notice that. Okay, go up here. Okay. Um, so now I should be able to make some lubricant. Yep, okay, one lubricant, there we go. Okay, what else do I need? Copper wire and a battery, okay. So I think, I should dress copper on me? Let me see. Um, I have one, okay. Ooh, and some acid mushrooms, okay. Got some right over here. So I need two, I think. I may need more. I need, no, I think that's good. Yo, you know, yeah, that's good. So I get two copper here, okay, and go in here, whoops, oh, I, should, I should save real quick. Okay, then. now let me go ahead and do personal, wait no, wait no, one thing, what am I doing? Okay, battery, okay, uh, excuse me, and a copper wire, okay, then I think we have everything now, guys, and, oh my gosh, there it is, sea guide, yes. Okay, then, guys, this is going to make everything so much better now in the world. Um, the Sea Guide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and always stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. No. You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. That was bad. Okay, um, so now we have the Sea Guide. Look how big that is, though. That is a three by three area. So that takes up a lot of our inventory. I also got a tank. I think I showed you guys these in the last episode. If not, they just give you more oxygen so you can be underwater more or longer. Say. Okay. Um, I'm going to make some food real quick. I think it's nine. I'll check in a second. So, need uh, at least three of these, I guess, for right now. Not sure if I have all that, though. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to take a quick sip of my water <laughs> while I make water. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. 
Okay, so I'm gonna cook some peepers too. I had a lot more air bladders than I thought for all that water. More boomerangs. Actually, why did I do that? Well, okay, no, I hope. Okay, dang it, whatever. I just kind of ate one of those boomerangs for nothing. I forgot about the trick right there that I said earlier. Okay, beacon, I'll keep that. Just gives a funny thing. Um, I'll keep the water on me, I guess. Actually, nah, well, I'm not I'm not going that far. Ooh, I should probably get this med kit. I did not know that that um, stalker damaged me that much. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, now we have the sea guide. Okay, what I want to do real quick, though, is I want to make lots of batteries. Because this thing eats batteries like crazy. I think, actually, actually, I think that was updated in the precursor update, if I, I think at least. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure they made it so it doesn't um, eat as much battery life. So I need copper and acid mushrooms. Let's see, do I have any acid mushrooms? Okay, I have two. I think that's all I have. But that's fine because they're everywhere. Hey, quick coming out of there right here. Blah, 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 blah. Give me all. I went to all of them. I went to everything in my life. Okay, then. Okay. Um, now I have some copper in here. I'm using all my copper. That's fine though. Don't judge me. I'm addicted to this game. I'm addicted to this game. Okay. Another battery. I think this is it. Yep. Okay. So that is. Let me see here. How do I. Look, I forgot how to get out of that. One, two, three, um, four. Counting the one that's in my inside my seat glide already. I'm pretty sure it's one inside my sea glide. Actually, I'll need to put this in one of my slots. Put in number five, because why not? Yeah, okay, then there we go. Turn the slide off, because that, that uses up a lot of power. Okay, then. Um, I'll show you guys this in a second. just want to see when it's going to turn daytime. I'm not sure. Let me see. Um, Yeah, okay. I'm going to put these um, fasted mushrooms just right out here. I'll... I'll just, I'll put like, I'll put four inside of this locker. One, two, three, four. I'll drop the other two just down here. Just because I don't want to waste storage space. Okay. Okay, that was good. Next thing I want to do right now is I want to, um, I want to get a piece of silver to make a habitat builder. So we need that, we need the silver to make a computer chip, which is... Two table core sample, that's easy to get, a quartz, and a silver ore, which is what we need to really get. That's kind of the hard thing to get. And then we need that that computer chip to make the habitat builder, which also requires a battery. Okay, so that's not hard to get. I'm going to wait today real quick, because scary ocean. I wish you could like sleep in these little chairs here. Actually, that's kind of electrocuting. So, this one. Yeah, this one's fine. I wish you could like sleep in these because I know you, there's actually a, there's a bed out there where you can actually sleep in it. it makes time advance. Be cool if you could sleep in these. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one that you actually sit down in the intro game in the intro part of the game. I think at least. So yeah. So yeah, this one's busted because you you had to like smash it to get out of it. Okay, I think it's day. Yeah, it's day. Sorry, your headphone users. Okay, so now we go to five. I hold it like this, and look how fast we go. Look at this. Look how fast we're going. Now this is just this is awesome. We can go all the way over to the kelp forest, which is right over there. This is the cave I was talking about, so it goes all the way to over here. Okay then. To be honest, the sea guy just makes things a little bit scarier. And they have whenever you're using it. What the? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Oh, okay, bye. Have a nice time. I think it's a shadow bug. Oh, okay. There's a sand shark. I don't think we've ran into these guys yet. So what these guys do is they dive under the sand 
And pretty much, yeah, they're, they're just under the sand, really. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm sorry guys, but this is too much already, and you guys may have saw that and some of you may not have. That, if you guys saw it, right there, that's a bleeder. Those seems to latch onto your arms and suck your blood, and I hate them. Oh, and hi stalker, how are you? Come here, come here stalker, dang. I'm really glad that they changed the blood in the game to not be all red. It was really gross before. I, I didn't even play the game back then. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at that. There's little claws attached to your arm and then, ugh, it's just disgusting. Get out here. I saw another. <gasps> right there, oh my gosh. That made it look like that one came back from the dead, but it didn't. <gasps> oh my gosh, I died? Oh my gosh, I think the warpers, I mean, not. Oh my gosh, I think the stalkers got an upgrade. Oh my gosh. Wow, well, okay then. Whew. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, did it? Dang, I wasn't able to see if I lost. Oh yeah, I lost stuff definitely because I had a lead and like copper on me. Dang, that sucks. The, um, the stalkers were never that good before. They were never that powerful, I don't think at least. Um, wow, wow, okay. Oh, wow, okay, that was, that was something. That was definitely something. Okay, um, wow, I'm kind of astonished right now. Um, okay, hey. Wow, okay, I need to catch my breath and uh, get some food real quick, um, first of all. Oh my gosh, I just need to take a second. Okay then. Just had to take a little break there for a second. Still sit back and just like, wow, okay. That was probably one of the scariest things that's happened to me this game. Probably and jinx it now, something scary is gonna happen. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll keep this cook boomer right on me, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go and put this um acid mushroom just right down here. Put that Don't do that. Did you, I, I, I could have sworn I saw this thing like open. Is there, I'm not sure if there's animation. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw this thing open. Just don't do that. I had a bad experience with something like that in a different game. Okay, um. Okay, I'm gonna head back there now. I just need to get silver. I need to. It's my one priority. My one and only priority. Oh yeah, the, the the power on the sea guide's definitely a lot better. I wasn't sure last time. I did and I wasn't really looking last time I just used it like a while ago. Before I died. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, then I'm just I'm just, just trying to get silver. So
What did I say? I'm trying to get silver. We got silver. <laughs> oh, okay. That was awesome. Oh, ye. Okay, then. Okay, um, we have silver. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna end the episode soon, I think. Actually, well, yeah, probably. Okay, cut these. Okay, so those are the, these are the table cards we need. If anyone has never seen Sonatic and they will play it, um, don't get confused. These other corals around here, these white corals, they're, they're over there, those. Those are not the table corals. I mean, those are not the table cores you need for computer chips. Those are for other stuff, like bleach, I think. Um, this stuff is what you use for computer chips. I'm just telling people so they don't get mixed up or anything. Okay. Um, now I need quartz. I think I have quartz in here, don't I? Yes, I do. I have lots. I am really happy because we just got, like, one silver. Just right there. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Key, 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 key. Computer chip. Yay, buddy. Okay. And now personal tools. Habitat builder. Okay, then. You guys are probably going to hate me for this. Actually, let me read this. The builder is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay. So if I put this into number one, right there. And first of all, save. Okay. And second of all, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger of making a base. Looks like a shaver. Or shaving. But well, I see we can make all this stuff, but I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger for next episode. Next episode we'll make a awesome base. Sweet base. We'll have to get lots of titanium. Look how much titanium we need for this. And I think the episode after that after that we will be heading into the the um what is it um the i i i really just said it earlier i hmm the grassy plateau and we will be trying to get seamoth fragments we'll be heading there and we'll be heading we'll be getting seamoth fragments for um next episode of i should know the episode after we develop the base try to get seamoth fragments which is a mini goal submarine then we are going to go to an island, probably. Um, that's all I want to do. So the roar is right here. Hello, roar. You see, if I look this way, you can see that a cloud is kind of grayish over there. That's an out. So there's a cloud there, but there's also land behind it. So it makes it kind of all grayish, I guess you could say. I'm guessing at least. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about physics. There's also one right there or there. I think it's there. I'm not sure. I think I know stuff, even though I don't. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this episode on the cliffhanger, like I said. Next episode, we will make be making a base with a shaver. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Subnautica. Or just in the next video in general, guys. So make sure to leave a like, if, if you liked. If you get one like, that'd be awesome. Wait, I can deconstruct the fabric here. No, I was, I, was, I was about to say, like, why would I want to deconstruct it from in here? I guess that'd be good for my base, but, okay, whatever. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.